the news the people have been waiting for has arrived. Oh, we have a most Reggie, please the man! OB1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Hello, All right. OB1 plays? fantastic fabulous news today but before we get started give the video a big thumbs up let's get to the news five count it cinco incredible playstation not just playstation but news items that you guys have to tune into the first one bro pretty pretty dope stuff this is coming from gamesradar.com Sony is accelerating the supply of PlayStation 5 units and big prediction. They're predicting to sell over 22.6 million units per year, making it their strongest generation ever. Big stuff. Right now, PlayStation 5s, you really can't walk into any retail stores. I haven't heard of it and see any on the shelf. There are reports of some Xbox Series Xs finally starting to appear on shelves, but the console has been tough to grab. As soon as they get on the, um, become available online, they get swiped up. But Sony is saying that they're accelerating supplies of the PS5 and they want to start pushing out. 22.6 million units per year. This is coming from Sony CEO Kenichiro Yoshida. And that's a tall task. Sony's best selling console and the best selling home console of all time. The PlayStation 2 still has that record over 150 million sold. That is insane, bro. The PlayStation 4 did 100, I think it's over 116 million, which is nothing to shy at. Every PlayStation home console has sold over 100 million, except for the PlayStation 3, which did around 86 million, I think, give or take. But big, big um, prediction and estimate for Sony. They can do it. You know why this gets me hyped? It means games, big games, big exclusives are going to be coming to a PlayStation 5 near you. PlayStation skipped E3. I kept saying this. They didn't even need to be at E3. I'm enjoying Ratchet and Clank right now. I just platinum Returnal. Fantastic. I got my Metroid feel. Y'all go and play that 2D Metroid game. I'm still gonna probably get it. But Sony's delivering on games. I'm, I'm joking with Metro Dread. I know Metro Dread is gonna be a fantastic game. Stop and eh, me when when you hating, bro. <coughs> We're just having fun, bro. Ratchet and Clank. Uh, I still need a um, platinum sack boy, big planet. I still haven't even gotten around to Final Fantasy VII integrate the um, DLC exclusive to the PS5. Keena Bridge of Spirits right around the corner. Loved him every time I keep thinking about this console the games bro and so for them to say 22.6 million units that means they're gonna be dropping big games the next uncharted game bro god of war ragnarok is gonna be insane i'm still have my fingers crossed for a playstation all-stars battle royale just imagine on the ps5 with upgrade um graphics revamp gameplay would be fantastic they have the ips for it now and so so, it's going to be a great generation, especially if you have a PlayStation 5. They've won me over, bro. All right, next news item. I thought this was pretty, pretty dope. 
a new PlayStation patent could change VR forever, says the article. This is coming from SVG.com. And they're saying a new PlayStation VR patent has been um, discovered, which allows the viewer to change from a first person to third person perspective on the fly. I don't think it said third person, but be able to just change perspectives on the fly within the game, which I thought was pretty cool. Most shooters are first person and especially in VR from the first person perspective will get you more immersed in the game. But say you just want a different viewpoint, you want to zoom out behind the character, some kind of patent Sony has for their next VR machine will enable you, enable you to switch out from third person to first person on the fly. Interesting stuff. I'm super hyped for PlayStation VR 2. I just realized I have my window open. I don't have my uh, lighting, my usual lighting for my video, but let's just keep going. We lit, bro. And so, new PlayStation VR patent. Rumors are heating up over this PSVR 2. Can't wait, can't wait to see when Sony drops this. I hope in their next presentation, they give us um, um, a tease. First look at PlayStation VR 2 would be dope. Bro, this next news item pretty big, especially if you are a PC gamer. Ghost of Tsushima. They, Sony has removed, not Sony, but the developers, I guess. I guess Sony's involved with it, this first party studio. They've removed the PlayStation exclusive branding from the retail box. On the retail box, it, it, it says PlayStation exclusive. That's been removed, sparking speculation that Ghost of Tsushima could be coming to the PC. Not surprising. Sony has done that before. Have their games come out on console. And then months later, um, even years later, put it on PC. We don't know yet. We don't even know if it's happening. But that's what this article is speculating. This is coming from NME.com. So my take on it is I'm a console gamer. And so as long as Sony continues to deliver the best content first on the PlayStation 5, I'll be there, bro. I'll start being a PC gamer when PC starts getting... Nintendo and PlayStation exclusives day one and that's just a staple then I'm gonna be on PC because I want the best gaming experience but until then I've always been a console gamer them games will be coming uh, on the PS5 first Sony's just killing it bro they're killing the competition ain't no way around it next news item this was pretty dope and came out of know nowhere this is how you sell hey Sega is turning up for Sonic, bro. They are turning up. Sonic the Hedgehog DLC is coming to Minecraft. This is all new trailer. And watching this trailer reminds me of how bad of a game Minecraft is. I never got into Minecraft. I never got the appeal of it. But this does look a little cool. It does look a little cool. They had like even 2D side scrolling stage. But they got me once with the Mario. And I already know what it's going to be. It's, it's not going to be good. But... Minecraft is coming to, um, Sonic is coming to Minecraft, celebrating its 30th anniversary. We'll have 24 character skins, and for the low, low price of only $7.99, slated for 2022, though. So, still gonna have to wait a couple months for this to come, but it is happening. And uh, next news item this could potentially potentially be big coming from gamespot.com gears of war creator cliffy b is working on a brand new ip he just tweeted out i'm officially collaborating with at alex decampi and sandy jarrell on a new ip y'all better put respect on Cliffy B's name and so Cliffy B he has just announced coming out with a new IP um hope it's a next gen um IP can't wait to see what it is Gears of War was lit my thing for Gears if you're talking about a game that just felt that's just gotten so repetitive I've beaten all the Gears of War games yeah all of the numbered ones yeah all of them 
But they just all feel the same, bro. Like the same exact game. I don't know what they could do to switch it up. And I'm sure they're not the only IP that's fallen victim to that. I guess it, the, the gameplay is dope. So if it's not broke, don't fix it. But man. All right. What do you guys think about everything? Everything that was discussed in the video. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming bro we out of here boy hey.